Hi everybody, in this video, let's look at the strength and the cogency of an inductive argument. If you are given an inductive argument, then the question asks you about um, the strength and the cogency. Means that the inductive argument is strong or weak, cogent or not cogent. You can determine it by using this flowchart. First, you look at the conclusion make. If the conclusion is true, then it will be strong. If the conclusion is false, then it will be weak. If it is weak, then it will be not cogent. But if it is strong, it can be cogent or not cogent, depend on the given premises. If all the premises are true, then it will be cogent. If there is at least one premise which is not true, false, then it will be not cogent. Okay, now let's look at some example so that you can understand it better. Okay, now let's look at this example. Determine whether each of the following argument is strong or weak. So remember, when we want to determine the inductive, uh, the inductive argument is strong or weak, we look at the conclusion. If it is true, then it will be strong. If it is false, it will be weak. If it is weak, then it will definitely be not cogent. If it is strong, it can be cogent or not cogent. We need to look at the given premises. Okay, now, determine whether the hands, we want to determine whether the strong argument are cogent or not cogent. If it is weak, then it will be not cogent. If it is strong, then it can be cogent or not cogent. Now, let's look at this example. 2 is a prime number that has only 2 factor. 3 is a prime number that has only 2 factor. And 19 is a prime number that has only 2 factors and premise number 4. 23 is a prime number that has only 2 factor. So from all the given premises, we notice that prime number always has only 2 factor, right? So we make a conclusion here. All prime number have only two factor. Is the conclusion made correct? True or false? True, right? All the prime numbers have only two factor. Since this is true, then we know that this inductive argument is strong. Okay. Second, if it is strong, we need to determine is that uh, is this cogent or not cogent. We have to look at all the given premises. If all the given premises are true, then it will be cogent. Okay? 2 is a prime number, then uh, that has only two factor, correct? 3 is a prime number that has only two factor, correct? 19 is a prime number that has only two factor, correct? And the last given premise, 23 is a prime number that has only two factor. So all given premises are true, then it will be strong and cogent. Okay, now let's look at example number two. One is a factor of 27. Three is a factor of 27. Nine is a factor of 27. And 11 is a factor of 27. All factors of 27 are odd number. Is the conclusion here? True or false? Try to think. Now, I hope that you still remember what is the factors of a number. 1 times 27, you will get 27. Then 3 times 9, you will get 27. These are all the factors of 27. Means that when you take 27 divided by all this number, it can be divided exactly. Okay, you will notice that all the factors of 27 are actually odd number, right? So all factors of 27 are odd number. This is true. Since the conclusion make is true, then it will be strong. Now we need to determine is this cogent? We need to look at every single premise here. One is factor of 27. Yes, correct. Three is a factor of 27. Yes, correct. True. 9 is a factor of 27, yes. 11 is a factor of 27, 
No, this is true. Ah,、uh, this is false. Eleven is not a factor of twenty-seven, since the given premise ah、uh, the given premise here is not true. Then it will be not cogent. Strong, but not cogent. Okay, strong but not cogent. Okay, now let's look at the last example. Three is a prime number. Yes, correct. Five is a prime number. Yes, correct. Eleven is a prime number. Yes, correct. Seventeen is a prime number. Yes, true. All the given premises here are true. You notice that all these number are odd number. So the conclusion make here is all odd number are prime number. Is it correct? No, this is false. Why? Because there are some odd number,、uh, which are not a prime number. For example, nine, nine, is an odd number, but it is not a prime number. How about uh twenty seven? Twenty seven is an odd number, but it is not a prime number, right? So you cannot make a, you cannot say all the prime、uh, all the odd number are prime number. This conclusion is actually false. If it is false, then it will be weak. If this is weak, definitely it will be not cogent. Okay, so remember when you want to determine the strength of an inductive argument, we look at the conclusion make. If it is true, then it will be strong. But if it is strong, it can be cogent or not cogent. We look. Ah,、uh, we need to look at the given premises. All premises correct. All premises correct. And the conclusion also true, then it will be strong and cogent. If the conclusion is true, then it will be strong. But the given premises, at、uh, least there is、uh, at least one given premises is not correct, then it will be not cogent. If the conclusion made is false, then it will be weak. If this is weak, then it will be not cogent. Okay, hopefully you understand better about the strength and the cogency of an inductive argument after watching this video. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.